Welcome to the Dear, Dear Daisy devlog number three. It's finally here. It's been a while. It's, that's because I had COVID and I was somewhere else while quarantining, so I couldn't. I wasn't at home, so I couldn't work on the game, sadly. But obviously, yeah, you can see I added a piano here <laughs> because the trailer. You probably already saw the trailer. I added a lot of stuff. Don't worry. I even though I was gone for two weeks, this week I've been working on it a lot. Let's get into it. Um. Right now it's loading, which I need to fix that issue with like a loading screen or something. So right off the bat, you can see I removed that other room. This is locked now, but I removed that other room. It just didn't seem right, you know. Whenever I record, I always see the bugs, like the little tiny ones, which is good. But it's only when I'm recording, and it's weird. And sorry if I breathe in the mic. It's just something I do. I'm probably just insecure about it. So yeah, um, these doors are still lo locked and everything, and... There's still a room here, you know, it's, it's just darker, it looks a bit better, I made it look a bit better, you know, you can still pick this up. And also, remember, I'm gonna um, just like warn you before I reveal any spoilers, this is a spoiler right here. So, if you want to read this, go ahead, I understand if you don't want to play the game and if you just want to watch the videos, but just so you know, you can play it within the browser if you have like a PC, but, and I might do mobile later, I don't know. Maybe, but for now, I'm just gonna do PC, work on PC, just so just to make it simple. So yeah, I'm gonna sort of zoom through this this part. Well actually, you know what actually. So the sparks are coming from there instead of here because you know I didn't like it under the door. Why would there be star sparks under the door? I'm trying to just add more detail. Okay, so if you okay, there's a bunch of stuff in this room, so I would just skip there's a lot of puzzles here and I'm about to reveal two. So if you just skip ahead um, so anyways, the puzzle, this first puzzle is, you see, you know, there's, there, you have to get away to this door. This door is, isn't locked, but it's broken and you can't really get through it. So then, then there's this broken power thing, and as you can see, it's connecting to this. That's how I structured this puzzle, because that's how I liked it. I also fixed this issue with this, because there's actually something over there now. And, uh, yes, yeah, so there's this room with the flickering light, and there's actually something in there now. Something important, but here we go. This puzzle right here, you have to get the hammer. <laughs> um, there's a jump scare right there. Just a little hand. I can't really animate very well, obviously. And there's about two jump scares so far, I think. Um, technically three, but the third one isn't exactly a jump scare. And then you come over to the hammer, press E, fix it, you know, boom. And then you could open the door. But I added another way, obviously. There's a key here. You grab the key, and you're holding the key, right? And uh, you jump in here, you know, why is it lagging? And then you can unlock this vent. Then you're on the other side. So as you can see, there's two ways to go through here, through the vents or through the door. Now, if you don't do the key way, then you can still go through here. But if you don't have the key, then you can't go through this thing. But if you do have the key, you can go through that vent. Okay, um, this is where the puzzle spoiler is going done and then this is a loading part it's loading he's saying go away and it's really annoying so i figured okay the player's probably gonna get close to it to try to pick it up or something and then you know jump scare super scary uh not really i thought it was kind of funny but uh okay here's another story are you not actually yeah um <laughs> i'm not gonna play this recording mostly because you can't he really hear it right now and it's just not doing very well put a loading scene right there because it was lagging earlier. I also added a pause menu, as you can see. You can go to zoom menu or quit, and it's paused, and like, yeah, you'll lose progress if you press menu or quit, but um, other than that, it's it's fine. I'm gonna make it to where you can pick this trash can up, and uh, yeah, you can pick up this monitor, which was probably a terrible idea, but whatever. Yeah, and then there's a heater there, There, there's uh, this diagram of a human. Oh yeah, I changed the flashlight to look more realistic this is okay this is also another puzzle and i'll tell you like before i reveal where the thing you're supposed to have is because there's a way to open this door not this one though sadly oh yeah so there was like banging over here i wanted to like as soon as you go through here there's a trigger and uh then it'll trigger like it'll activate a noise here that uh that sort of bangs on things and then yeah, as you can see there's blood like tr i'm probably gonna have the blo trail of blood come from here and then have a note here that says or have a note here have okay so i'm i was gonna switch the positions of this note by the way this is a story spoiler so you might want to skip ahead um so this note is gonna be like over there you know 
that note is going to be over here. And then the a different note is going to be over here. And it'll say something else. Something that pertains to this. How this guy died. Because this one just says, like, what does it say again? <laughs> I forgot my own story. Yeah, so it's strange things that have been happening to me. You know, I love you and all that. It'll still have blood on it. Both of them will have blood on it. And, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah. And then this one, I might remove this. I think it's a bit much, you know. And, uh... Yeah, I just was I was just messing around with this blood gushing effect. Um yeah, and then I added more lights. So um skip ahead now if you don't want to know where the thing you're supposed to fix this is. Um yeah, so the this is right here, this crowbar. And you pick it up, you know, and then you can go over here. I wanted it to make a sound, but it didn't work. But yeah. All right, and then there's this super creepy dark basement, and uh, I'm gonna put a jump scare right here. Um, so I'm gonna like make it to where you look over here, and then you look away. But as soon as you look away, something appears there. So if you look back, then you'll see, oh crap, there's something there, and it'll make a sound when you look at it again for the second. Okay, now this is like a flickering TV. You know, I had to put another light above the TV even though there's no light because like you couldn't see the TV it was just like you know going out so I figured this is fine and then if you get really close to it I should really make a loading screen so yeah <laughs> what's a horror game without um, VHS weird stuff you know and this does technically uh, the bad things that happened to Steven tick took place in the 80s so I figured you know this is pretty cool yeah you can pick up this radio every radio you can pick up if there's a radio I think the radio should be like this reminder that this is my game even though this is not my model I forget who makes it but it, they are in the credits of course there is an Easter egg in this area if you like go far enough in one of these directions I'm not going to specify which one but uh yeah and by the way the w the reason the boards are here is not for aesthetic like you couldn't go through this while standing up and i couldn't fix it so but yeah and no so the color scheme i know this color scheme is weird but this is supposed to be like inside a video so everything's weird and it's supposed to copy this thing called dream core that i really like and that's the whole point of this game actually is to copy dream core and to not copy but like you know i was inspired by dream core or whatever i made that song too i just saw an image of a house with uh, lights with a light um on it like this and it was just in the, in the middle of nowhere it wasn't this dark it was actually pretty light and there was no sky so basically in this one and in the next devlog you'll see that um i'll probably start in this scene instead of like starting at the title but like that radio will play along with my song i'm gonna like do this montage thing where it'll turn down the music and then it'll say uh it's basically an old recording of steven telling you um how to fix your mental issues and then you'll uh you'll have like these buttons to ch when he asks you a question you'll choose so the first question he's gonna ask is how do you feel and then you'll choose good bad he'll have different responses for each one and then you'll just have a conversation with him and that's one of the ways i keep the game simple i wanted to put him in a video one because what is an indie game horror game without you know this vhs thing and the weird flashlight thing and you know come on i know it's it's my first full game i'm def i'm most likely definitely going to finish this game i also want to know if what it, should i uh should i make a demo like uh should i just start the player here and then make a demo or i don't know you know not start the player here that's a terrible idea but put everything i've worked on so far into a demo and then release it i don't know but tell me in the comments i guess i think that's it one more thing the credits so i want to put this in the devlog right now because i want credit to be shown because like not all of this is mine actually a lot of it is other people's i took assets off an asset store and i also used a lot of tutorials um i haven't credited everyone yet but i i would at least like for some some people to be credited <laughs> Okay, so that last 
there's a last little thing there that I cut off, but it was be it was for a good reason. I want o only the people who actually play the game to see that note. It's the only thing I'm not going to put in the devlogs. But yeah, those were all the, not all of them, but a lot of the people who helped me. Not directly, I, I just used their assets and stuff. But anyways, that's the end of the video. And I just, please let me know if uh, I should make a demo version. Like right now, for this version. And then like, you know, each, each devlog from now on, I want to like ask you... Hey, should the demo be now? Should the demo be now? Because honestly, I don't think the demo should be now. I think I should add a little bit more content and then I could like add the demo when there's a cliffhanger or something or maybe when I finish the weird 80s VHS er uh, area. Thanks for all the support and it's, it's really fun making this game. Like I've struggled making games in the past. Have a nice day.